Dire Wolves are back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. This, this is fun? Guess this, what? This, Not with that freaking thumb. What the hell is that crap? <laughs> that's, 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 that's the dodo bird mixed with a that's T-Rex. A dodo bird's going to eat the little Asian guy? Or what the T-Rex actually looked like, some I people say. I made it yeah. myself. I'm not even a, a I like that the value tainment logo is on it. <laughs> <laughs> Branding. That's smart. I hope this is Jurassic Prank. Come on. I love Come it. On. That's a great thumb. That's a great, great title. Great I'm title. sorry uh, for being too good. Uh, anyways, um, this is a cover of Time Magazine. They brought the Dire Wolf back. All right. This is by a company uh, named Colossal Biosciences. I don't that, like it already. It's just an evil company, yeah. Colossal, Colossal Biosciences. Bios. Oh, yeah. my God. A Dallas-based biotechnology company has announced the birth of three genetically engineered wolf pups. Dude. Romulus, Remus, Ooh. and Khaleesi. I'm gonna, Khaleesi I'm, wow. from Game of Thrones? Those well, they had names. the Game of Thrones guy come in to hold the pups. Wow. George R.R. R. Martin? No, ja Jack, uh, Game of, is it Jackson? No, it was George R.R. R. Martin. I forgot to the put it glasses? in because I don't care about that series. I love those movies. Um, <laughs> I can't sleep. So uh, if we go to the next one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, it took 12,000 years, guy, and they're back. They're 12, so 12,000, and hope. Oh, dude. That's insane. Uh, like so they were around with, like, woolly mammoths and, uh, and yeah, stuff, Yeah, right? that's what's next. Uh, that, that's what happened. Like, can, can you imagine this? Uh, Rob sent me a really good clip. Um, I think we have it uh, right here. Oh, well, these are the puppies. This, this will get us all the <laughs> views. Oh, it's it's two-headed. Uh, volume on. No, no, it's, no, it's, it's two volume. separate ones. Huh? It's affected. <laughs> he thought they were connected. No, 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 like, no, no, like no, conjoined no. twins. <laughs> well, I go ahead, play this clip, Jay. Volume on. Put the volume up. Aw. You know what they're saying? <laughs> We're gonna kill you, sir. We're gonna kill you, sir. You have unleashed a great horror of the human race. <laughs> <laughs> they're cute. They are. Yeah, they're they're cute like freaking now. dogs. All right, good. They're cute little puppies. They're mostly dog. They're um, mostly dog. They're not wolf. No, they are wolf. Yeah. Uh, are those right. humans sucking no, their no, teeth? And this is good for my my history, bros. Wow. All right, the names you were you you said uh, Romulus and Remus, and that's Romulus and Remus, and. They're part of uh, the the you know the mythology of Rome, all yeah. right. Basically, these two kids uh, they became orphans and they were uh, fed by uh, by a female wolf, and that's how Rome got started. Is that what wow. they yeah. sucked on the titties Teats. of a wolf? And uh, I wonder if that's ever actually happened Definitely. in the history. Of uh, there was a story of a kid. I feel like it was in Russia. It, I'll find it, but a kid wolf? that was like raised by wolves. Do you remember? The, yeah, he was it, lost in the woods, yeah. and then a, a, a pack of wolves had him. And for like I don't know how many months or like years, he was just out there. With An them. abandoned child, Marcos Rodriguez Pandonia, spent. He lived alone in the wild for 15 years, and he grew up with wolves. I don't believe it. I call you don't bull believe bull. it? I, I call bull plop. From the Guardian, so I don't believe it either. <laughs> well, he, grew up, he grew up alone in the woods. Like, okay, so he was a loner and he had a dog. But, but, but <laughs> rumors, rumors are he could lick his own crotch. <laughs> like, he was very oh, flexible, wow. too. So he if you could, would you? 100%. <laughs> I wouldn't leave the house. Yeah, what do you mean? You think I'd be on a value payment? I'd be, a, I'd be a free show at the house. Anyway, oh, go ahead. I will do like two or three deliveries of like Uber Eats and just go back Uber home. Uber Eats? You yeah. got your own Uber Eats. Enough, enough to pay rent. All right. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, uh, let's go to the next one. This, this is a really long clip, but, but uh, Glenn, he's always on the money. What a guy. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. I love how white his hair is. The mic is white. His shirt Everything. is white. I love Everything his voice. Is white. He's got such a beautiful, no, I majestic love, and, voice. But like Glenn, he's a sweetheart, but that guy's he's a, he's a great guy. Although he did him. say 10 days for the Epstein files when he was on PBD podcast. He was lied to. Wrong. It's been like 40 through. days well, since then. Yeah, you're, not, you're never going to see let that him list. Cook. Right. So basically on this clip, if we can play a little bit of it, he's he's asking the right questions because this, oh, I have one spoiler. All right, go. Let's, let's play the clip. Now we have the uh, dire wolf. Uh, which is 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 truly wonderful. Um, and as I get into this, I see who some of the investors are. Uh -oh. And uh, one of the investors that is really excited about just pouring money into into the uh, colossal bioscience is uh, the CIA. <laughs> oh shit! Look. I'm giving you a <laughs> chance invest. to process that for a second. Yeah. yeah. First of all, CIA. Uh, they've got a budget to invest in companies. <laughs> Sounds like a bad idea. I'm not Shouldn't happy. really be part of what the CIA does. Well, it's not a it's not a, well, it's not a hedge fund, right? Mm, they're not just investing; they have good reason to invest. Okay, okay. Uh, so. <clears throat> 
Well, so if you're, question, you're looking, the one, you're, if you're looking to do with the CIA, so I go to the next one. The, the, but the, the idea, we already know the CIA, or at least government agencies, are investing in gain of function. So they're going to try to bring back like super deadly diseases from a million years yeah, ago. Yeah, just in case we yeah. get, we just get in case too you gotta, comfortable. You got to get a vaccine like for Like Egyptian them, plagues or something. Oh, like man. Right? Nice. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So now that we're doing this and we're already doomed, we're all going to die. Yeah. I picked my favorite animals to oh. bring back. Oh, okay. though, if you bring That's back cool. the saber tooth cat, That's cool. we are effed. That, well, gonna, they, I love its name is the Smilodon. I mean, that's Smilodon. Uh, it's Smilodon, whatever. Smilodon, It's whatever. for the long, curved canine teeth uh, that there were seven inches. That's a lot more wow. than some yeah, people some here. Things. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that's my first pick. My second pick, weird one, all right, it'd be the woolly mammoth. One reason, I don't even like woolly mammoths. Next clip. <laughs> Oh. I don't even like them. You just want to see but it. No, I need something for my saber tooth cat to eat. All right? So I will bring A saber tooth can eat that? Yeah. So I will bring them back as food. I think it takes right? a, pa a pack of them, no? Huh? One can't kill that. I take don't a whole, know. Take they they're, 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 I, I was listening to the podcast of the guy on Rogan, and he was saying that the woolly mammoths are the size of the Asian elephant, so not the African elephant. The Asian, Asian elephant, a little smaller, they and stood, they're very, they're very close. I mean, they're, they're, they've got like pretty intact DNA of, of they, woolly they mammoths. They stood up at eleven feet, and uh, up to six tons in weight. Then this is my favorite. Joe Rogan will be so excited about this. Yeah. Is that Gigantopithecus? It's <laughs> the biggest primate to ever exist. Ooh. It was ten feet tall. Imagine how scary. Ten that's, feet. that's sorry. <laughs> that's Bigfoot. I mean, that's that's actually if Bigfoot were to exist, ten that would be Bigfoot. Ten feet tall. Yeah, Ooh. belly on that thing. Largest ape to ever exist. They're very much like modern day gorillas, but they they will stand up like taller. Yeah, and they would rip your uh, rip you to your arm then, off. Yeah. Uh, if the ocean is not already terrifying, Ooh. this my megalodon. Next yes. megalodon. Bring, bring it, bring it back. Yeah. Oh, dude, that would how big? I how would big are megalodons? Three times the size of a great white shark. Uh, oh, sixty feet long. Ah. I would like for them to bring back trilobites so that we could just see those. Little creatures the, all, the all over Jurassic the bottom of the Park ocean. Guys? Yeah, like, like well, any dinosaur would be. I didn't go super Jurassic. Cool. I went. No, I don't want any Jurassic. Earlier. And this my 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 wild card. Hast? Why? This is the Hast eagle. It's a big God, Brandon. Don't you love eagles? How yeah. I love them, but They're the, the bald best ones animal. are the best. What's special about this one? This is the biggest one. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, this was uh, 33 pounds and Whoa. 10 feet wide. Wow, that, that, could, that could pick what? up a human. Yeah, it could literally pick up. How awesome is Dude, that? Dude, that, that what country? Where is it from? Where is it normal? Uh, it, it was extinct in uh, in New Zealand. New Z New Zealand, Chad. Wait, how, how, <laughs> how many years ago? That that looks like it was relatively recent. All right. Uh, it That's was awesome. extinct around uh, <laughs> no, 1400 no. AD. 1400 AD. No, so like relatively recently. Yeah, relatively. Okay. That's so why there's I, a chance we can get that one There's a chance. Back. Oh, easy. Compared to 13,000 years. How long yeah. did it take for them to get this dire wolf situated? How long did it take? Uh, it took them a long time. Here <laughs> it is. They did uh, sequency. Um, I, I don't how know many how many long... years. Years. Uh, yeah, year. of course years. And uh, it has a lot to do with the CRISPR technology. Sure. All right. So if you guys aren't scared enough for us messing with God's plan of Extinction like dodos. I didn't put them in the list because they're the most stupid animal. Dumb. And that's how I'm they died. Get, this is my opinion. All right, this is my opinion. It's a hot take, and this is allegedly. I think pandas must go. I'm done with them. Uh, what do they do? What's what purpose do they serve? Except it's just, just being in China. Zoo? China. Right, right? No, I, I say what we can do is crossbreed the panda with that massive gorilla that we just saw. So you can have like a massive, vicious panda. Then people then, would really go to then a Then there's a different story. <laughs> yeah. Or I will give a panda a Brandon jean so they start humping each other. All right? Yeah. Brandon jeans. <laughs> so, so they'll uh, be tight. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, uh... So if this wasn't scary enough for messing with God's plans, I brought something even more horrifying. What? So just uh, this is uh, Kawasaki's new uh, Corleo. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a hydrogen power uh, rideable robotic horse. You're joking. And this was debut at the Osaka Kansai Expo in 2025. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's an off-road personal mobility. It looks awesome, right. but this is gonna go so wrong. You can just just roll the. Tape. <laughs> what the hell is that? I oh, this, this is this is how wars. In the future. That's not real. Yeah, it is. Are you serious? Yeah. 
It's like an electric, like you're riding like a, a, a tiger. And, and for full realism, every now and again, it just shits out a battery. Just like that. <laughs> Dude, that thing might hump like your Toyota. <laughs> that thing will jump on your Toyota and you have a little baby Toyota. Wait, that's fake. That, no, no, this, it's, uh... it's all AC. I, this is what they're designed, but I actually saw, no way. What the, what? That's cool. Tesla beats digital horse. Yeah. Well, this next 10 years is going to be insane, bro. Yeah. Who's going to slide in? Why is he Chinese? Why did they put a little Chinese guy? Japanese, you bigot. Oh, it's a... I mean, how the hell is he yeah, supposed to yeah, tell exactly. that bigot? He was on there for two <laughs> <You> seconds. bigot. <laughs> Dude, that thing is sick. It's <laughs> cold on the top of the mountain. Gosh, yeah, like, to get uh, your stuff together here. Like, I wish the commercial right now just like... All right, but, you know... Corleo. Uh, <laughs> because so you're tired it. of cars. Dude, it let me is tell you. <laughs> rich. <laughs> what a great I so That's it. That's it. Well, the, cool. No, but the but, question we were talking about earlier is like, if you could bring back any three humans through genetic whatever it is, who would you bring back? And I think Hitler we, just to kill him. <laughs> no, we all agreed on. I think Jimi Hendrix was the consensus of everyone to see what his music would have turned into, assuming history would have played out the way it would have had he not died prematurely. Well, a lot of people, like, oh man. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, though, I mean, if you think about it, they took the the tooth or the skull. How, how did they make the direwolf? They took a twelve thousand year old something and a twenty seven thousand year old whatever. Yeah, the and inner they, ear pe the inner a piece ear bone of the that skeleton. Better DNA. So if they could do that with animals. Who's to say they're not going to take, like, you know, because don't we have Hitler's skull or somebody like that? No, well, that's a female skull. Yeah, a female skull, and it wasn't the age of Eva Braun at the time that she died, which is why people think that oh. Hitler and Eva Braun escaped well, to Argentina well, it's or a South matter, America. Dude, it's a matter of time till they start bringing back people that were here, that they still have their DNA. But, I mean, this is a, dude, this is a very, very slippery slope. This is a very, because I, I, I heard, I might be mistaken, but I think I'm right, that these guys were talking about bringing back dinosaurs, too. Oh, they are. Oh, guess what? I'm not cool with that. They, Jake even should said it. Jake is like, have... haven't we seen Jurassic Park? Yeah, shouldn't like, there be like a global council that agrees you yeah. can't do that? Like, wait. No. Wait. Yeah. Well, well okay. Not you want a, a global no, council? No, no, all right. Well, you're right. Bring <laughs> a global <laughs> dinosaur. When it comes back, wait, when it comes to dinosaurs, there needs to be what he's saying, I think, is like an oversight on Dinosaur <laughs> return. No, the, I'm anti. The, any the the biggest problem in, in 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 humans right now is we never know when to stop shit. I okay, know. <laughs> we are on season fifteen of Supernatural. <laughs> AI yeah. is out of control. Yep. They're gonna keep on cloning shit until yep. until you can have sex with one of with a oh, fucking. Oh, for sure, you're gonna be able to have sex with yourself. Yeah, yourself. all right. I already do that. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. They, we are on Transformers. 14. We're on Fast oh and Furious God. 9. Nobody knows when to stop. I know, you're right. Nobody knows when nature. to stop. I agree. Oh, the female, did you see the female robots? Have you seen? Hold on. Oh, they the vibrate. technology, like, bro, I, I when I first I glanced, <laughs> I'm like, vibrate. bro, she's hot. And then I saw her blink and she was fake. Imagine in five years, I'm telling you right now, you're going to go to a friend's house and you're going to be like, like he's, he's going to introduce you to his new girl and some hot ass rubber robot is going to come out and he's going to be like, dude, you want to hook up with her just go right ahead just wear protection you're like wait what like are you not close he's like dude it's a robot who gives a shit she's gonna clean after dude, well, imagine that's, that's gonna be huge... tough to compete with for women but that, well, well, well what i'm saying is it's you want to talk about our birth rate being low right now yeah wait until i'm telling you in five years the technology of female robots at your house i think think i robot yeah but not just because i saw them bro i saw this company that had like an i robot thing and they put a mask on like a real Good, like five thousand dollar mask, and I was like, "Oh my god, the future!" And they're gonna figure out how to make it better too than the actual thing. Like they're gonna make it like different settings, like different levels. You're talking about sex right now. Yeah, they're the gonna be able to make it like vibrate and like all this weird. Oh stuff yeah, and she's know? gonna be able to, you know, you bring yeah, your friends all over, crazy <laughs> positions and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I got I, two things on this. Uh, go ahead, Jake. First one, go watch Westworld. It's yeah, super scary. Okay, very messed up. Yep. Same plot as what you're talking about. Two, I'm bringing back Chris Farley. Wow, that's, that's a good, a good one. one. All right, before we go to the last story, if you bring back one person, that's a good one, Jake. Who will you bring him back? And then you get to hang out with. Not just it's not just bring him back for the world. Oof. I'll go JFK. Rush, Rush JFK. Lim Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh. Wow. I like that. JFK would probably be mine as well. Either JFK. Yeah, probably JFK. Yeah. JFK. Was, you know what he would say? It was them. <laughs> it was them. <laughs> well, uh, who would you bring back, Rob? I, I I'm with him. JFK probably. 
Are we bringing them back and they're being born from birth and they don't have the experiences the person had? Well, yeah, because well, right? it's not Let's cloning. Do prime. It. Let's right. do prime. Then G Genghis Khan and see what he see what Ooh, he grows up wow. to be in modern times. <laughs> wow. Does he grow up to be the murderous dip whatever? Or uh, you know, he does he just get really good at wrestling? Nature or nurture, yeah. Um, oh, George know. Carlin. But it's too late. I, I I I have this theory in my head. If he was alive during the BLM riots, it wouldn't have happened. He'd be so blackpilled right now. Like he was blackpilled when things weren't even that bad. So yeah. you can't imagine how he'd be right now. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, Patriots.